What's up Agents Wolf here, welcome to another Division 2 build video. In today's video I'm going to showcase one of the best solo builds in the game. Are you a new player or a veteran player? Do you want to run through missions or open world content as quick as possible and absolutely delete enemies with one shot to the body without even having to optimize your build that much? This is going to be the perfect setup for you. This is the one that I use a lot of the time to speed run farming Shaytech watch levels like doing resource convoys or any kind of heroic content. Now you can use this build on legendary, but it may be a bit more tricky because we need to get up close. But there are many ways to make this build. I will give you some options as well if you guys wanted to play a different playstyle. So with this setup, we can hit over 12 million damage a shot. Now this is dependent on your optimization. My build is not optimized. I don't have any expertise on my D50 pistol, which is what we're going to be using today. So you will see a lot more damage if you optimize this build, if you try it. So with this setup, I have got Hunter's Fury 4-piece. Hunter's Fury is perfect even though we don't get pistol damage. We do get amplified damage, and this is weapon damage against enemies that are within 50 meters by 20%. So we also get a, a debuff. We give a debuff to the enemies which disorients them, and it's really, really powerful. And we get more amplified weapon damage. That's 5% for 10 seconds, and this stacks up to 5 times. So if we can get one headshot kill with this determined D50 that you guys are seeing right now in the gameplay, we get one headshot kill. This is going to amplify the damage, going to ramp up the damage of Hunter's Fury. We're going to get armor on kill, health on kill, disorientate the enemies. And because it counts as a headshot, the next shot, so you can shoot any NPC to the body, even robotics, and it will count as a headshot kill. We will be ramping up Hunter's Fury and also the chain killer chest piece with perfect headhunter. We'll be ramping up that damage as well and then collecting memento trophies now you don't have to use memento i'll give options in the description but this setup is perfect for getting up close and personal with the enemies and killing them off one shotting them to the body any kind of enemy it works unbelievably well so enjoy the rest of the gameplay and then we'll go through the description shortly Here is the setup. It's going to be quite easy to make. Just go to countdown, farm the pieces. Hopefully you guys have got the memento backpack. If you don't have the memento backpack, you can use a DNH bag with vigilance or concussion or a providence defense. It doesn't matter whatever you want. You can even run another Walker and Harris piece for more armor damage. It's completely up to you. So this setup has got all reds bar the memento, which has got a blue and a yellow. Now, I do think that this is going to be the best pistol for this. The D50 has got a lot of base damage. There are other options that you can use, like the Profit, but it doesn't work as well because they nerfed this weapon. So you can give it a try, but I prefer to use the D50 with, with the talent determined, guys. So after killing an enemy with a headshot, the next shot landed on any enemy will be a guaranteed headshot. This is how we're able to stack the chest piece talent which is just incredible. And this is how I'm able to one-shot everything to the body, which is really nice. Optimize and you will see better results. D50 does kick quite a bit. That's why it's, it's a bit easier, especially if you're on console to get up close to the enemies. You'll get used to it, um, but it just depends. If you've got the Regulus, the Regulus works great, but then you're going to have to hit headshots. You do get AOE explosive damage as well. It really just depends on what you want to do as a player. For me, it's so much quicker just to, hitting, to hit body shots with a big shield pistol it just, with a big shield as well, it, it blocks so many shots from the enemies. It's just a lot of fun. Now, the combination of Determined and the Perfect Headhunter is just one of the best combos in the game, guys. If you didn't know how this works, 
Once we get a headshot kill, uh, we get a lot of damage. Your next weapon hit within 30 seconds deals an additional 150% of that killing blows damage. Damage is capped to 800, but this is raised to 1,250 if your headshot damage is greater than 150%. So this is how I'm able to spec all into headshot damage and not even hit headshots is because as long as we get the headshot, one, the one shot kill with the pistol to the body, it counts as a headshot kill for this chest piece, which is just incredible. So let's make sure we've got above that 150. So if we take a look, shotgun's 145, but don't worry about that. I wasn't really wanting to showcase a shotgun, even though it can play a part. We've got 202% headshot damage. This can go up, depends on your modifications as well and your what you, you know, how good your your modifications are and your attributes. So the weapons I'm going to be using are going to be Eagle Bearer and the Military M870 shotgun. You can use the named weapon with perfect pummel, or you can use any kind of shotgun you want. To be honest, you can use whatever gun you want. It depends uh, what you want and what situation you are in. Now, pummel with a shotgun is nice because we never really have to reload and we're one-shotting enemies up close with a shotgun, and it makes sense with Hunter's Fury. So this is a great talent, and I recommend it. Damage two targets out of cover. The EB is just nice if we get into a tricky situation to have an AR for more distance as well in case we get into engagement for enemies a bit further away. But it's up to you what you go for there. So I have got damage to armor. I would recommend on the pistol going for damage to targets out of cover. But it's up to you. You can't even go for headshot damage. It doesn't matter. Just test it for yourself and see what works for you. Because you want to make sure we're doing enough damage to actually like if we enter an engagement and we fight a golden NPC you, if you kill that golden NPC, the next one it would be great if you could one-shot him to the body. Now, it's difficult for me because my build's not optimized and my gun is not uh, fully maxed out. But you can do that. You can ramp it up with just golden NPCs, which is great. That's why I want to try and optimize this as quick as possible. But if you have a red NPC, a purple one, at first, try and focus them and then you can ramp the damage up as you go. So the specialization I've gone for is going to be uh, this one right here, the fire starter one. It just depends what you want. It, there are many different specializations in this game and you can use whichever one you desire. It depends what you're going for, but it's up to you. So the Hunter's Fury 4-piece. Health on kill, armor on kill, keeps me alive. It's just great. Shotgun damage, which is nice. Enemies within 50 meters uh, receive a debuff. We get amplified damage, this ramps up, and they get disorientated, which is just amazing so try keep close to the enemies you can still one shot from further out but this is focused on getting up close and personal so hunter's fury is just incredible make sure you guys farm the four pieces put it together like this then the chain killer chest with perfect head hunter i've got explosive resistance and headshot damage we also get extra weapon damage on the one piece attribute so that's how i'd roll it and then all the hunter's fury pieces every single one put headshot damage that's what we want you don't have to hit headshots because, like I mentioned, Determined and the Chain Killer. Then the Backpack Memento with a headshot damage modification. I think the Memento Backpack is nice because we get armor regen, we get bonus armor, weapon damage, more efficiency for the shield and the decoy. It's just really, really nice. Now you can use DNH or Providence with Vigilance or Concussion. It depends on you, but I recommend Memento, especially if you are playing solo. This setup is one of the best builds in the game. I want to make sure you guys give it a try. If you did not know about it, hopefully you've checked this video out and you've gone and tried it. If you have, please leave a comment down below and let me know how it worked for you. Decoy, duration, health, shield, health, active regenerate, regeneration. That's pretty much all you need. Statistics, you guys can take a look. Pause the video. That's for the pistol. We've got, don't worry about crit chance, 202 headshot damage, some armor damage, damage shots out of cover would be better, but I'm going to try and optimize my pistol soon. So let me know what you guys think of the comments in the comments section down below. Now we have got 182,000 armor on kill, which is nice, and we do get armor regen once the trophies are activated. So once you get the trophies up, you will be hitting a lot harder as well. Just something I wanted to mention. So please make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Peace out.